Good morning, good morning, how are you all going? So, we've got some stuff set up here, I hope it's bright enough, it's very hard getting enough light in here today. So um, I hope we can see once the yarns and it'll be a bit easier to see. So let me have a look here, we've got lots of people hanging out in the chat, good morning, good morning to you all. Um, let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me, all that kind of stuff. Um, I know I could hear the music in the test, but I'm hoping my audio is on. Um, there we go. Lots of discussions happening. Good morning, Rowan's Impressions and Jackie, and it's Grace Jay O'Clock. Now, I know that, Cl uh, that Claire may be watching, but not getting involved in chat. She's still really sick from being on the ship. And Kim is out at a thing with her son. Um, everyone is watching all the stuff. Everyone is here, hang on a second here, you see all the way from North Carolina. Hey Marilyn, how are you going? Now I don't have my glasses on, which was probably not the wisest decision. Um, I was planning on setting up a second monitor. It is sitting here, except I couldn't find the power cord. So no second monitor for chat for me. So I am going to have to lean in to re-chat. Now I have a few things. A few little housekeeping things. We had some fantastic submissions into the Fibrific Inspo, um, onto uh, the hashtag Fibrific Inspo on Instagram. So we've got a few of those photos. I've just picked a selection. Um, they're sort of, they're all a little bit different so that we can have a bit of fun. I also have picked some random bases, so it's not all just sock yarn. Um, hello from... Oreos Ark. Hey Oreo. Good morning Beth Baker. There's lots of people watching today. That's fantastic. Um, Tosh McFly says it's fine there. Um, is someone uh, but a little muffled on the sound. Okay. Um, let me just have a little look here to see if I can adjust the audio a smidgy bit. The microphone in these episodes is a bit further away so that it doesn't get affected by the steam of the pans. Um, also I try not to have it too loud because it peaks and gets a bit nightmarish for people um so yeah other you know the voice like that noise that that high pitch like in your ears we don't want that either um let me have a look here seems fine here at the moment everyone's happy hi diana from wyoming hi carol evans we have just started you haven't missed a thing good morning carrie good morning allegra so today I'm going to pop uh, up our first photo inspiration that we're going to use, um, which let me just see why I cannot uh, mixer. No, I don't want to change that. It's not letting me do what I can normally do. Close that. Um, oh, this is very frustrating, you guys. Hang on a second. I tested this, but I didn't test because it's not live. You, the screen is a bit different. Let's see if I can switch over to editor and pop in the picture. Um, so let's see how that's looking. There's a picture there. No, it is not there. That is, that's bad. What happened there? Can you guys still see everything? That's good. Um, but the picture did not show, oh, I know why the picture didn't show up, because I just clicked on it rather than um, made it so you could see it. We are going to be going with Snowflake Fiber Arts Photo. Oh, no audio off, Chantel. Come on, get your get together. We're using new software. We're using all the fun bits and pieces that we normally have. So I've just realized my main dyeing pan is under the picture, so I've just got to shuffle some things along a little this pan here was mostly just for setting colour, so we need to bring this one over just a bit more. And uh, I'll see if I can just shrink this down just a smidge. How's that? Can you still see it okay? Is it taking up too much of the picture? Let me know. So we're going to be going with this. Is this a dahlia? I'm not sure what kind of flower this is, but it is beautiful. Um, so I'm going to be doing, I've got a bit of, so in the, in the soak pot, sorry, I'm all sweaty. It is so hot today, guys. It is so hot. Um, so we've got, um, in the soaking buckets for the yarn choices that we have, we have some Andromeda DK. We have some beautiful alpaca silk lace weight. It's one of the ones that I can touch while it's wet, but I struggle with once it's dry. So I'm all right to dye it. I just can't use it and it's beautiful it's cashmere it's alpaca and there's something else delicious in there that I can't remember hang on I'll get the note
Okay. There you go. It's alpaca, silk, and cashmere. So 800 meters. So we've got that. Plus we also have um, some little mini skeins of some BFL twist sock yarn. So we are going hard. Um, I think we might start off with a bit of DK to see how this goes. Hope that's all right, Jackie. This is Jackie's photo. Jackie, at one of our lovely moderators. It is a Dahlia. Thank you, Jackie. Um, so it's a beautiful photo. Ori says, Chantelle is one of the reasons my feet are toasty. Her yarn inspired me to learn to knit. Oh, thank you, Oreo. That's beautiful. Um, good morning, Andrea. We've just started. So that is awesome. She's trying to join the chat today. That's fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to dig out. Oh, let's first start. Let's get some heat in these pans. So I put in, um, the, it's just water in the pan. Um, hang on, menu, change it down. We just want that one at 60, you want that one at 100. So in this pan is about 250 to 300 mils of already warm water because I fill up a bucket with sort of just the hottest water the tap can do and I mix in the citric acid. We are acid dyeing, we're using chemical dyes and so we need an acid base so that the yarn heat sets. So if you don't have the acid base and you can heat set it all you want, and it may stay in the yarn, but it won't stay in the yarn. Does that make sense? So we need to have a, a light acid. So this is just citric acid. This is just food grade or cosmetic grade citric acid. So it's not like it's burning your hands off like fingers dripping. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, are those IKEA roasting pans? Yes, they absolutely are IKEA roasting pans. I um, have looked at the possibility of upgrading my situation and getting the nice Bay Marie's and the Bay Marie pans and I think I'll just have to save for just a smidge longer so I'm using some just uh, little uh, the electric heat elements that I can control the temperature on and the IKEA roasting pans I use another roasting pan as a lid that's the downside you really do need pans with lids because we want to heat set it without it boiling so the trick is pop the lid until you can feel the heat in the lid and then turn it off and just let it set um, Oreo's got her Halloween charms, um, DK, but would love to see it on the alpaca too. Okay, we'll see how we go. Um, I've made up plenty enough dye, so I was going to do two lots of DK. We've got a bit of steam happening here. This one's just warming. This one's going to get hot, um, and we'll see how we go. IKEA has everything. Yes, it does. Um, we've got um, we've got people saying it's buffering, so we should warn you guys. We're in the middle of some serious storm cells here in Brisbane. There's a bit of thunder, a bit of lightning. So hopefully you can at least get a gist of what we're doing. So um, I can see on mine that I am definitely sort of glitching out a bit. So I'm very sorry about that. Um, all right, so this is getting quite hot now. So I'm just going to stir the water around and make sure it's evenly hot. Does that make sense? Because it heats in a, in a ring in the middle and I want all the water to be at the similar temperature so all the yarn has its stuff at the same time. So this Dahlia photo has got a beautiful sort of brightish yellowish middle out to a soft salmony pink outside. So I don't know how we're going to be able to go um, getting that exact gradient but we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Okay so can you guys even though the picture's glitching can you still hear is a good question. Um, Stacy has thunder at her place. Yeah, I've got thunder here too. So if you hear thunder, massive amounts of raining, we're under a tin roof here out in the shed, out in the dye shed. So it might be uh, a little bit hard to hear. So let me know if you guys can hear and see, even though the image is glitching a little. I'll just double check that my signal is still strong. Um, it's not as strong as it was when I started, which is frustrating to say the least. Okay, I'm going to get some yarn for this pan. Okay, so these have just been soaking in just a bucket of uh, warm water with some of the Tantec Delicate Wash in it. So I'm just going to, this is just 100 grams of, of the Andromeda DK. It's a beautiful merino yarn. I have to be very careful. It will felt very easily in this heated water. 
So what I might actually do is just pop the heat off now. We've got it nice and hot. We'll turn that heat back on after. The trick with that dyeing our yarn is we don't want to felt our yarn. We just want to dye it. Um, that and there. And that goes there. Can you guys hear the chickens? The chickens are going insane. All right, now this yarn... Yeah, they get, they're coming in because we've got this cold breeze that's just come through, which for me, I love. But it may bode not well for you guys in the stream. So we're going to be going an orange and a pinky colour. I'm just going to add just a smidge more liquid. Um, this, the parts of it are just a little dry. So we want to get a bit of extra liquid. So I'm just going to get some more. So just off camera here, I have just a bucket. Oops. Yeah, yeah, that's the right bucket. I have two buckets. One bucket's for cleaning the, the dirty tools, and the other bucket is for uh, getting the water out of. And um, so, <laughs> hi, chickens. They know we're live streaming. It's a bit like uh, Abby. So, you know, it's the there's a storm coming sound. All the chickens get in undercover. So, that's where we're at. Now, I do have. My dodgy box of gloves I still haven't replaced. Kim, when you watch the replay, I'm sorry. I will get more gloves, honest. But, you know, I've got this whole box, but they all break. Because um, they're so old and they got left out in the, in, the, um, in the sun. So what happens is this bit just snaps right off. So we'll try and get one glove on at least. So less dye on the hands, possibly, because I'm going to poke and prod and get my fingers in there. That's out wrong as you put on a rubber glove, doesn't it? Um, okay, now we're going to start as usual with our lighter colour first because then you can always over dye the lighter colours. Um, if you put your dark colour on first, it's near impossible to get it to pick up another colour. Um, Carol Evans says it's sunny and bright here in Arizona, but the daughter and family are in Florida. Oh my gosh, I saw that in the news today. That is terrifying. Hang on a second. Nothing's where I normally have it. I had it all packed away and tidy. So in here, we just have a bit of basic yellow mixed up. It doesn't look yellow, but it's totally yellow. Um, so we're just going to go... It's pretty strong. So I'm just going to go gentle, gentle. Um, let me think. We're just going to see how bright a yellow... Oh, that guy's a really nice sort of burnt orangey yellow colour right there. Look at that. I, I did it in the one spot you can't see. Let's try over here where you can see a bit better. So we're going to, I don't know how I'm going to dye this. I'm just looking at the picture and getting inspo from the picture as I go. Um, I was thinking, you know, that one would be a really good one to do as a um, sock blank where you can grade from one colour to the next. That would be adorable. Um, the uh, alpaca silk blend has got a really dark grey to start with so it might be a bit hard to get some of these lighter colours to be bright if that makes sense um, more yellow yeah more yellow because we can cover the yellow with some of the pink and it'll make like this beautiful apricot-y colour um, the noise the chickens are making is hilarious my cats are freaking out <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tyra. <laughs> um, my cats don't actually care about the chickens. They sleep on top of the chicken house. They're like, yeah, whatevs, chickens. Whatevs. And the dog is like, yeah, chickens. You guys are all dog approved. Um, Snowy, excuse me, get out. This is my live stream. This is not Chicken 101. Off you go. Add it out. Sorry, guys, I just have to evict the neighbours. Add it out. Come on. Go stand out there. This is my time on the camera. Chickens. Terrorists is what they are. Okay, more yellow, more yellow. Alright, well I'll add some more yellow then. Okay. <laughs> so I'll add some little splodgy bits, some light little just like shaken. Like I haven't had enough coffee. This is this is the haven't had enough coffee dye method. Okay, we don't want to go too hard. We can always add more yellow in later. Um, Mousy Moo is home because her child is sick. I'm sorry to hear that, Mousy Moo. Now, I've mixed two different colours here. 
one is a salmony color and one is a pink next to each other it's very hard to tell the difference so let's i'm gonna guess that this one's a salmony color but we will soon find out because they all look pink in the bowls okay let's have a look that just needs it's still got a bit of solid or granulated dye i should say sounds like they're ruling the roost yeah they try to let me tell you that tell you what oh yep salmon win Woo um so we've had like you know we had the electrician here setting up the fiberific shacks power we had um you know i was moving all the stuff into the fiberific shack so i was leaving the sliding door at the front open to go backwards and forwards i came inside and found chickens in my house let's just say i was far from impressed um chickens don't tend to be the tidiest of housemates so you know let's go with that um we'll blend this in a little so i still want some of the softness of the white but i don't want that much white so we might have to flip these guys over um, and do the other side i don't tend to do that because i do like a little bit of white through the yarn just to create movement and motion but we'll get all the colors in first and here is just a plain pink how's that it's maybe a little pink we can blend that with the salmon a bit and get that back ease back a little what do you think Jackie is this what you were thinking now remember you guys that these will dry when they dry they dry definitely paler so if you're worried about the brightness here don't worry too much because the colors definitely dry a lot more subtle than what they are when they're wet in the pan like think about your denim jeans your black denim jeans always look awesome and black when they're wet and then the second they dry you're like yep those are the old ones okay so we've got this side done we might just soften off some of this pink with a bit more of the salmon over the top of it just to ease it back a little um oh, maybe that's a little too much the salmon's quite strong we'll see we'll see we're playing here we're playing um sorry guys it's hard to read the chat um you should have labeled them before you went live uh that would have made sense and uh next time maybe but i was running around like a headless chicken getting ready for this live my phone kept ringing do you guys i used to have this rule right like if it's a if it's a landline number an international number that i don't know i don't answer it but if you notice that telemarketers and what have you are getting really sneaky and they're actually dialing from mobile phone numbers. I had three different telemarketers call and they're all using mobiles. And I'm just like, I hate this so much. If I want a service, I go looking for the service. I don't want cold calls. I'm on a do not call register for crying out loud. So see how we've got this side is quite colored. That side's still quite plain. So we're going to turn this over and just add in. A smidge more color so that these are a bit more you know oh, I'll just knock the camera no problems no one needed to see this anyway did you that's not what you were here for was it no one was here to watch me die yarn die yarn um, that looks awesome great inspo pick fab interruption <laughs> hey Leanne um, yeah the chickens are great Hey, did you guys like the little startup thing with the timer? Those of you that saw it, I was playing with that today. And uh, not 100% sold, but I think it's good, especially if I'm running a couple of minutes late, that you guys know what's happening. Because um, I can actually just adjust that timer. Some of you may have noticed that it went from like one minute to three minutes. And that's because I was still mixing dye. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, get a bit more yellow in. Get all the colours in. See these splotches, these little speckles of dark? They're going to be, make really bright pops of yellow when they steam set in. So I just want to be a little bit aware and cautious of those. Now, I, as I said, I don't mind if there's some little bits of white in this particular dye method with this direct pouring. That sometimes happens. It's quite difficult to get it so it's not. So I just embrace the white and create tones. I try to mix some of the dyes in with the underwater just so that at least it's like maybe a pale yellow or a pale pink. Sorry, I'm leaning out just because this is where the dye is. Um, we'll get some more salmon on here. And so this is Jackie's 
or um, snowflake, sorry Jackie, is it, what's that say, snowflake fiber arts um, on Instagram, so if you want to go over and check out some of her gorgeous photos that she has, I don't know if her account's private or not, I probably should have checked that first, um, if it's private you can always ask to be her friend and she can make that decision on a case by case basis, um, like what Abby does, Abby's account is private, and she makes case by case decisions. Every now and again, she's like, "Mom, do you know this person?" And I'm like, "Yes, I do. You can what? You can follow them. They don't put anything scary up." All right, pink. We're going hard on the pink. Bit of pink. Bit of pink. This is one of those pinks that the actual dye powder. Um, I've got two different containers, and even though they're technically the same color from the same dye mold, like they're all. What brand am I using today? Jacquard dyes. I've noticed that there is difference between them. So we've got get some pink down there. That one might be a smidgy bit pinker. That's all right. It's hand dyed yarn. We go. Put a little splodge of the pink there. So we're still going to have some white through the middle, just to offset some of these brighter colours. Um, there's a little bit of dye in this dye water. So because I'm just dropping it in, just so that it can. As it exhausts, like when we, when we put the lid on, it will um, steam and suck all the dye out of the water. Um, and so some of those stripes and lines that we put on the other side won't be as de defined. Let me just have a little read of the chat here. Sally says she doesn't answer to any number she doesn't know. It's the same in the States. Did you know that you have to re-register on the Do Not Call register every six months? I did not. I thought it was every 12 months. That is stinky, Kerry. I'm, I'm probably out of date then, which would explain why we have so many telemarketers. It's gotten to the point we don't answer the home phone. Like, we're seriously considering getting it disconnected. Um, Jackie says, I hate when you, have to, when you put your details in those comparison sites and they keep ringing you even when you said it, you're not interested and they take your number off their list. Yeah, they won't. Um, oh, interpretation, not interruption. I thought you were talking about the chickens. Um, oh, excellent, thank you Jackie, not private account, this is her business account. So you guys can all go follow Jackie who took this beautiful photo. Now I'm going to get the heat, this is all I'm going to do with this unless Jackie wants me to do something else. Um, and then I'm going to swap them from one to the other, which, you know, I probably should have thought about that. But anyway, um, I will swap this over because this one's warm and ready for yarn. So what I'll do, I have a chair. I have a chair just here. I shall utilize the chair. Um, this isn't too hot. It won't melt the fabric of the chair. Oh, don't have a heart attack, mate. These things t don't like it if you... Um, there we go. Look at that. Just so look. We've got an empty container ready for yarn. Did Jackie say... No, nope, it looks good. Excellent, Jackie. So what I'm going to do is I will get some heat. Oops. Go there. Thank you. We'll get that up to 100. We'll pop a lid on it. One of my many trusty roasting pans. I've got a collection now. And then what will happen is I'll just keep touching that. And when I feel that it's hot, I know it's got quite a bit of steam built up. And I'll turn that off and check the time. This will need about 20, 25 minutes sitting and steaming. Um, Andrea's on the phone trying to help her mum get into the chat. And, and Jackie says that is the proper, that is absolutely proper use of telephones. Absolutely. Okay. Now, so we've got Jackie's in this pan. Now we're going to go and find the next one that we're going to do, which is the Banksia by Josie Fimp. So you guys have a quick look at that. My dog is losing her mind at the fence. So I'm just going to quickly have a squeeze around the corner. And I don't think there's anyone there. But we'll get this pan going. Now we're going to be doing Josie's. We're going to do a bit of over dyeing. So I'm going to show you some over dyeing for this one. So based on the fact that every dog in the street and neighbourhood has started barking, 
I'm going to assume that someone is dared to walk down the street. Um, the big Banksia man, absolutely. Okay, now I'm just going to pop these colours over. Because we're not going to utilise any of those in this particular one. We will be using some of those in another one. I'm going to mix up some colours. Sorry guys, I'm just still here. I'm poking around and grabbing some colour. This is getting nice and hot, ready for our Banksia lace weight. So bear with me for a second. so you can't see me I know you can't see me but you can hear me I'm mixing colors I do mix the colors off camera I have to keep some I have to keep some secrets you guys but one thing I don't need to keep as a secret is the brands of dyes I use now you can actually mix your dye brands I'm currently going to be using a bit of um, the tan bark from landscapes I find their brown to be absolutely beautiful, but I have to remember it's a different brand. So the landscapes dyes are fantastic. Um, there we go, that's ready to be turned off. Sorry, sidetracked. There we go. Um, the, the, the landscape dyes are fantastic, but I find that I get a lot more yarn dyed per tub of the Jacquard because it's a fine powder dye. The landscape dye includes some citric acid in it. Um, but I always add more, I don't find it's enough, so I sort of don't see the point where they put it in. But anyway, it's like a filler. Rebecca says she's never seen that plant before. This is a native to Australia, I believe. Um, they're na yeah, native to Australia. Um, so I've got the brown, now I want to mix some of this beautiful, I've got a couple of greens I'm going to blend together to try and make the green. And then there's that one. And the second, I just want to and I'm mixing another green in with it just to try and deepen it out a smidge. There we go. Okay. So I don't know if it'll be exactly the same green. Can anyone see my whisk? That's right, found it. So we're going to be doing this beautiful green, which I'll show you in a second. I'm just getting in a bit of a whisk up. And some gorgeous brown. Um, normally with this, with this picture, I would be adding some black or grey into it. But in this particular instance, I'm going to be using a grey-based yarn. Um, so... This is that beautiful lace weight that has been soaking, same mix, it's just been in a bucket of, of um, warm water with the, uh, what do we, well, the delicate, the um, Tantec Delicate Wash. I just put in like a capful in a whole bucket, it just needs a little bit, it just gets rid of sort of any of the oils that are placed on the yarn while it's going through the machine spinning process i don't hand dye these yarn i uh, hand spin these yarns i would literally go insane um i'm thinking we might do two of those as well so i don't know who joe's and feepies in our trap in in our trap in our chat so if, if this is your photo because um, I don't think you have the same username in both places. Um, so yeah, came in lots of beautiful colours. It's an interesting plant. They attract nectar-eating birds to your garden. Do they really? I didn't know the Banksies did that. Denise is having some problems with some buffering. I'm sorry. So is Diana's. You guys, so we'll just have a, I should have a stream thing going along the bottom just to let you know that I'm in the middle of a storm cell. So 
I may drop out even. Um, I hope we don't. Um, but we've got some pretty serious storms coming through. So we'll see how we go. Not as serious as Florida, I might add, but serious all the, all the same. Um, I just need to shrink this photo down. There we go. So it's out of the corner there. What colours does this plant come in? It comes in those colours. The banks here um, is, a, is a brown and green. Um, there's lots of other calistamons that come in pinks and, and sort of reds, but they're, they're very different. They have very different leaves. Um, where are we? All sorts. Uh, yeah, I think you've got, like, the Banksia doesn't come in all different colours, but Callistamons do, but Banksia is not in the Callistamon family. I don't spin all these yarns, no. Um, I will spin yarn. I definitely like to spin, but I have, like, a personal sanity rule, which is if I'm dyeing it, it's commercial spun, um, especially to sell. I don't sell hand-spun yarns, so um, I dye fibre for myself. I, I enjoy dyeing yarn, but I find that when I'm dyeing fibre, I totally stress out. So one thing I wanted to mention is I've got like this base is quite grey and a little brownish. So when you're at the stores and you see a colour that you love the yarn, but that colour is just not you and it's a, it's a grey or, or like a yellowy cream, maybe less yellowy but more cream, things like that, or even a white yarn. You can totally over dye those shop bought yarns. You will get a different outcome because it depends. This is a natural color um, of gray. So if it's been dyed gray, it's been through some processes already, but you can totally over dye custom, like shop bought yarn. So if you're at a sale and there's wool on sale, you can't dye acrylic. Well, you can, but it doesn't stay dyed. Um, and you're at a store and they've got wool on sale, but the colours just aren't quite you and they're sort of muted tones. Um, you can totally over dye them, like even with just food colouring, if you can't get your hands on acid dye, you treat it the same way. You need to get a bit of citric acid or vinegar in the mix and it will soak up the food colouring. So if you get a nice grey and you want to make it like a deepish blue, you can hit some cake colouring like Wilton's or Queen's or whatever's handy and you can over dye it. You, you totally don't have to dye on an undyed base. I just prefer it. I like that cream tone underneath, but I also like to dye on a grey base, which is why sometimes with some of my colours, I'll actually go through and dye it all grey or go through and dye it all taut before I um, before I dye it the colours I want, because I want that undertone. Mum's giving up, she's trying to create an account and she's getting confused. She said, see you next week. Okay. Um, they look so different from the flowering stage to the seed stage. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so we're going to get some colour in here. So we've got a really nice sort of brownie grey colour. I don't know which one it really is. It's, it's saying it's more grey to my eyeballs. Um, when it was dry but now that it's wet it's definitely feeling more on the brown side so let's get some more brown in here or now let's do some green first we'll get the green in first it might be a bit darker than the brown but we're we it's our yarn we can do whatever we want so this is the green I've chosen you can't see it because it's so murky um, but let's get some of the yarn we'll make some banks here and now this green I'm liking, but I just don't think it's quite the depth of green I want. I'm just going to add in a bit more of one of the colours. Um, the spruce was a bit more of a, you can't really see that, It's it got wet and the label's dying. But the spruce is definitely a bit more of a, um, a darker green, which I mixed it with a bit of the emerald to try and brighten it up off the grey a little, and I think I got the mix wrong. Too much emerald, not enough spruce. Alright, fingers crossed. The advantage of, of actually mixing a dye in the warm water first is that it just, it, um, there we go. That's more the green we're after, isn't it? You can't, that's, I can see the difference. You guys may not be able to. I'm just going to cover this bit here with a bit more of this. We'll go like this, do lots of this green, this is so nice, alright, oops, big splodge of green, might have to do some green sprinkles to make up for that, 
okay now I don't I think I might make this top section all brown just for something a bit different we'll come back and add some more green for sure um, what's the chat saying I'd like to sharpie dye color t-shirts I'm pretty sure it does I get notifications and a ping um, Gay says she's over dyed her hand spun color grey merino with a gorgeous result. Absolutely. Why can't YouTube send me notices like the other apps? Well, YouTube can, but you have to actually go in and opt in. It doesn't do it as automatic. Um, they figure that um, the... Uh, wow, that's nowhere near as dark as I was hoping. It's alright, I've got another brown that I want to add in to try and add those coffee edges. So we'll get it. This is, we're test dyeing here. Do you know, I've actually never dyed to colour match to a picture before. And so this is my first go at this. I don't custom dye as a rule, um, just because I find it very stressful trying to make it exactly how someone would want it. So I just don't. Now what I'm going to do is... I put a lot of brown dye in that end water up there. So I'm just going to grab, hang on, bear with. Where is my brown tub of brown? Are you a tub of brown? You look like a tub of. No, that's black. Red, pink, and crew. Where is my big giant tub of brown? There it is. Okay, so we have a tub of brown. It's literally brown this I've really done badly with the lighting today you guys I'm so sorry I'm so used to having a bit more sunlight to help me um, and I'm just going to sprinkle a bit over the end of there this makes a totally different brown than the um, than the uh, um, landscapes so we're going to add in some sprinkles mm -hmm. People are messaging me. Stop messaging me. I'm in a live stream, can't you see? There we go. That's going to add some real nice depth to that. Oops, I probably shouldn't have touched that with my dry glove. That was dumb. Note to self. Don't poke your finger in the tub of wet water with your dry gloves. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to push this down a little. See how it's a bit more of a coffee brown? So that'll create a nice little colour up there. Um, let me just see if I can't. You can't really see it. So it's that kind of colour, which you can't see because there's no light. Oh my gosh, this is terrible, isn't it? Can you guys see well enough or is this just a complete like nightmare because it's so dark outside it's like i'm filming at night at the moment there's the clouds are just coming in um we're gonna see look little fingers mean you end up with all these little like my finger stops here <laughs> it's just empty glove oh god and these are smalls these are small size gloves i can't get gloves any smaller short of going to children's size um so I just, you know, pull my fingers down and hope for the best for a little while. They always go back up again. All right, so we're going to add in some more green in here. Um, I really, really want to go and get another light. Um, I'm going to flick on a fluoro light. That's just, it's not overhead, it's just to the side, and it might be enough. But it might make the screen flicker, so we'll see. Hang on, snow is in Okay, did that make any difference in here at all? Not really. Okay, well, you know, great. <laughs> um, you do not look stressed. I'm totally stressed out of my mind. Um, that reminds me, I'm looking for a 100% cotton, all white baseball, three quarter sleeveless shirts, if anyone knows the site. I don't know. You guys can see enough? 
I can always take some photos later and pop them up on Instagram as well. So I'm going to go through and add a bit more green um, into here and just splotch it around a bit because I do want to keep some of this natural grey and we will also have some of the natural grey from the other side um, because as usual it does not go all the way through in this particular dye method. So we just I'm just going quite lightly. It does look like it's heavy handed on this side, but it's not. Trust me, I'm going splodgy. Um, unfortunately, one of my neighbours has someone house sitting for him who tends to use power tools every day. There's no one day where I get any time without power tools. And on that well there is, there's one day this week he hasn't, and he had his music blaring so loudly I have my doors and windows closed and still couldn't deal like I'm pretty easy going I reckon so let me just see if I lift this up no it makes no difference all right I won't mess around too much because the blue the brown will blend in with the green which is what happened dang it here we go make a bit more room all right, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll get the heat on there again. Get that warming up, get a lid onto it. And we've got this one, which still needs a bit more time. And then we've got this one here. Um, squishy and looks good. Sorry, my head's in the camera. Banksia is a local to the high country in Gippsland and is the emblem of the Second, a secondary college discovered by a local man. It's brighter yellow in colour. There you go. I think it depends on, on where it's grown as to what colour you get. Alright, let's get the lid on. We'll stack them up. Once this one heats up, I'll just stack it on top. And we will work on our next colour. So do you, have you guys tried any of these dyeing methods for yourselves as yet? Um, I've noticed I think one big advantage is with this particular chat I know that what I say and what appears on my screen is easily five to seven seconds because when I went live my phone still had like six five four three two one so sorry I've worked it out how long it is but it doesn't help any um, there we go that one's still nice and hot that one will heat up a little bit more when I stack this one on are we all good? We're all good. Yes, I can still see the stream. Snowy is losing her mind out there. Um, not yet. Not yet. Do you plan on having a go or do you just enjoy watching? Because there's no, there's no issues if you don't want to try it. Um, Gay says she's crock-potted and steam-dyed. Allegra says, no, she's owned a tub of landscapes dye for so long now it's out of date. Never used it. You could totally still use it. You just might have to um, re-add in some more acid. You might get a slightly different colour um, than what they would like, but you can totally still use it. Um, Sally says she's only ever dyed using solar dyes. Oh, there you go. I've done some ice dyeing. That was fun. Um, but just as a just on some fabric, just to have a go with it. All right, that's nice and hot. Turn that off. Let it steam over here I'm getting a little steaming stack happening look at that all right next next now something that we've got in my bucket um, was uh, is some little minis now this next photo I was torn between going with Something like what we've done here, where we're, we're direct pouring and mixing the colours through. Or I was tossing up between making a set of five minis that gradiated the colours. Does that make sense? Like, and they blend a little, but they're in the minis, so you can add it in however you want. So I was really, this next one really just got my brain going. So let's, I need to, hang on, I need to close that one and open this one. This is a photo of a crystal that Leanne Burns has shared with us. Um, and so I'm thinking of doing some great added minis in that sort of softish green colour with, um, and probably like two in the green, um, or maybe three, and then one in a pink tone and one in a turquoise blue tone. What do you think of that? Um, Amazing says, I'm enjoying watching I make and dye paper. 
Um, that's awesome. How's the time in the first one? The first one would just about be ready to come out, but it's because it's not, it's not actually boiling, it's steaming. It can actually stay there until it gets cold and it would be fine. Um, but we'll go through and we'll look at them all at the end. Um, um, Fairy says, I know nothing about dying, so I'm watching. Leone likes the picture. It's a very beautiful picture. Now I'm just going to grab some water for this pan. There he is, a leaf. Come here, you. I want you. I don't want you in there. Thank you very much. So I've just got me Miss Sexy Dying clothes on so I can just wipe my hands on myself. I should, wear, I should really wear, like, you know, an apron. Oops, there is brown on my fingers. I will change gloves. I've got a little rubbish bucket under me here. My hand is wet. I don't know if it's water or what. In you go, little sweaty fingers, new glove. We're going back to some light colours after doing some dark. Um, a little bit of brown got in that water, but it's only a smidge, so I've, you know, professionally just mixed it in rather than emptying it out and restarting. <laughs> okay, a bit more. As you can see, I'm not measuring, so whatever we're making here is one of a kind. We're just having fun. We're, we're playing with colours and we're trying to match. Um, is that a raven or a magpie? It's a crow. So we have lots of crows. Okay. So I have dyed up. Um, dyed up. I have... 25 of these little mini skeins so I'm thinking five skein sets in the the green and the purple uh, like the purpley color and that blue can you see those hints of blue what do you think um, it was my it was my son that mentioned that if you take a close-up photo of a crystal it shows you amazing colors yeah that really does doesn't it um, Oh, hey, Angie, you've made it to your first live. We're about to make some decisions here. So I'm thinking some of the green. So I pulled the yarn out of smidge early. What I want to do is actually put a bit of the green dye in here and have it ready. So I'm just going to use a very, very small amount. I'm just going to like tap in. And this one needs to be well mixed because... How these dollar dyes are mixed, it's a blend of a couple of yellows and some blue. I'm not sure if you can see that. But if you don't want like the blue to overpower, which in this particular instance is probably not a bad thing. But I spotted this picture and instantly thought of this particular green dye I have. Now it could probably be yellowed off just a smidge. But I don't know if we're worried. Do you think we should add a dash of yellow in here just to make that yellow hue a bit brighter or should we leave it with this pale green you can't see it i can see how green it is in here this lighting today i'm so sorry guys i'll try and do better for next time um i really thought we would be all right but there's just not any of the natural light coming in that we would normally have so um hi tammy how are you going that matches the picture really well yeah i think so um i've got a bit on my fingers so i'm just gonna just put that in there Alright, so what I'll do is I'm actually going to toss these skeins in here um, and we'll be able to see the colour better once the yarn's in. So we've got three skeins because we're going to do a little batch of three of the green and then we're going to do a blue and a purpley pinky colour. Hopefully, that's the plan anyway guys, that's the plan. That's what I was thinking when I saw this picture. What do you think? Do you think that plan is a good plan? make a little mini skein set. This is a BFL base sock yarn, so it's a four ply. So let's try and keep it separated out. There we go. We want it all kind of, I think if I had had something with a bit of silk in it, that would have given us a bit more shine, but I really, really like the idea of using these minis. So 
Um, where are we? Don't forget your thumbs up, people. 40 watching and 30 thumbs, uh, 23 thumbs up. Thank you, Jackie. I appreciate that. Um, loving that green. This matches the picture. Yeah. So it's a bit pale here. Um, for me, it's a bit darker. I think it could use a little lift with just a smidgy bit of yellow, but I'm just nervous of adding too much. Um, so I'm thinking we, I might just leave this as such and then give it the lift with the pink and the blue in the set, if that makes sense. So we just let this sit for just a minute because what I'll do is I'll dye them all up and then I'll heat set them together. So it's just about absorbed all the color out anyway because we had gone really pale. So if you've got like a, a deep rich color, you really do need to let it it takes a long time to absorb it all but if you're going really pale pastel color you still need to heat set for 30 minutes at the end sorry that's my tummy changing the temperature sorry about that um, but in the meantime you can actually pull it out and reuse the water for another color until everyone's got their color and then you can sort of put them back in the pan and let them heat set together um, I wouldn't do it if a colour is running or doesn't take all the dye out, but we're going really soft pastel, so I'm not at all nervous about it. So I'm just going to pull these guys out, and can you see the green that we got? It's probably not ideal colour, light, but it's really quite pretty. It's, I don't know how to describe it. It's not apple green, not by any stretch. It's more like... Honeydew melon, probably more like honeydew melon, but like a not quite ripe honeydew melon, <laughs> just to make it that bit trickier. All right, so you can see there's actually no dye left in the pan. I've just popped them aside into this little glass jug just because it was there. Um, I'm going to have a sip of water. Okay, now we're going to go with the blue. Angie says my tummy does its own thing as well. It's where are we? I could hear, yeah, there's lots of squawking in the background. Um, the tummy trick is just part of, oh, right. Sorry, yes, that's right. The tummy does its own thing. Um, it took me a little second to work out what was happening there. We need a little bit, should we do pink or blue first? I don't know. Either one will work. Maybe the blue, because we've got, you know, if there is any green left in this water, it'll take it. Um, Daigo didn't get the notice. I'm sorry, Daigo. I don't know what YouTube is doing. It makes me a little bit cray. Okay, so this is the exact pink that we were using in that first dye batch. So I've actually got a little bit of that mixed up. So I'm just going to grab some of that. Because this stuff is strong. Like, you're going to see what happens here. Because again, we only want to gently color the arm we don't want it to go fluorescent there we go i know can you yeah you can see that hint of pink it really is a hint of pink because when the white yarn goes in i'm just going to put one skein in because our little set's going to have three green a pink and a blue so we've got our little mini skein in and it's going to take that pink and it's just going to be a, we might even put just a little dash of maybe something a little bit purplish in what do you think just to, it's just gone a little bit rose for what we're looking for here um, you guys something that you can do is I try to have a it's a placeholder so if you go to my youtube channel on a day beforehand you'll see um, Fiberific going live tomorrow at this time. There's a get reminded or get notified or something, an extra button you can press and it will literally remind you when this one happens. Or it should. It should remind you. I am, I'm going to grab just a little smidge. That's periwinkle. I'm going to grab a bit of purple. Hang on a second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this. It's not quite ready yet. I wouldn't, it's still got a bit of pink, but it's just a little bit too rosy. See, it's a little bit too um, antique rose for what we're doing here. So I'll just rest it there. 
I just want a little dash, just the tiniest little. What's going to happen now is we're going to get like a big blob of purple because that's that's what always happens. There we go. So tiniest little dash, just a couple of little specks of purple. That didn't really go purple, did it? Oh, that's, oh, that's green. Let's not use the green, Chantel. What is that periwinkle here? There we go. Or even, even, up here for thinking. We're going to be dyeing the other skein using some of this beautiful turquoise. So let's just pop the merest dash of that in just to purple it out a smidge. There we go. Just a bit. Less is more. And we've already got some pink on here, so we don't have to panic too hard. So I've got it on my hands, so you know, we don't want to pick it up and have a big blue splodge. Alright, let's see what that does. You ready? Magic of a pan that looks like there's no colour in it. Um, miraculously, there's no colour in it. What what just happened? <laughs> I think the blue actually somehow negated the pink that was already in there there's literally nothing in there it didn't pick anything up let's try again we'll just pop a little bit of the blue in this time have a bit of periwinkle here which is a bluey purple color it's a lovely one i have a ton of it i accidentally ordered i was going through and ordering one of all their colors and uh i don't know what happened there must have been a typo but I ended up with 11 periwinkle so you know I use periwinkle a lot there we go that's just hinted a smidge of purple over that just the barest hint I like that a lot what do you think do you like that it's very subtle um amazing Susie so clicked it yesterday but it didn't happen I'm so sorry it's really supposed to can you shrink the photo a bit yes hang on let me just grab the mouse I can do that. There we go. How's that? Um, the colour in this shot is not great. These cameras don't do purples and blues very well. But I'll bring it a bit closer up. Hang on. It's gone maybe a little too purple now. That's what happens when we play with the colour. Sometimes we don't get what we want. But next to the green. It's pretty. It still works. It's totally still works, but it's gone quite a, a soft a lilac y colour. But that's okay. Maybe not the hottish pink that we we're after, but it's still good. Okay, now we're going to toss in our little bit of turquoise to get the blue. Can we add some yellow to, to our cluster of, of colours or into one of the colours in particular? Alright, now we're going to get our lift of pop, which will be this blue. I might actually pop two in. I think I put a bit too much dye in. Um, can't wait to see the set. Yes, I think the set's going to be glorious. Oops, again with the dye finger gloves going into the white bucket of yarn. Let's not do that. Okay. Now I'm grabbing two blues because I don't want the blue to be too bright. Like I do want it to be that little pop of colour, but I don't want it to be overwhelming compared to how subtle the others are. So I'll have an extra one. So if we make another set one day, I'll have some extra blue. Hi Jazzy. So there we go. And because it's on a cream base, it's just gone that little bit um softer I'm just making sure we've got all the everything's going underwater and all the seams where the little joins are are getting a bit of color so that looks really bright there but it's really not i'll show you in a second it's so pretty i agree i agree so much where are we at i need a little drink of water so this blue will take the time
because it'll need to blue's a bit evil in that regard it takes a lot longer to soak its color in than any other colors I probably should have done the blue first and put it aside in its pan that would have been smart um, not known for the brains um, I see some yellow in the crystal on the edge of the green so don't want yellow left out of the dye party no that's why we've gone with a yellowy green color um, yeah but I mean we can always dye a yellow and swap out one of the greens for a yellow in our little in our little set I just don't want I just only want five in the set is all um, how are we going we've nearly got all the blue out there so did you guys want me to make a little yellow one I've got yellow I can make a little power yellow one we can add in and we can do a little photo shoot with like the different colors and we can all decide what goes into the set but at this stage I'll only be the one set so and maybe an extra blue and an extra whatever is left out but who knows I might go through later and just dive some extras to make some more um, but they'll be all slightly different because we didn't measure it we just went mm, bits um, Kirby went offline was it just Kirby who went offline so okay so I'm pretty happy that this blue has taken the dye out of the water oh there's a bit over there we'll splodge that around get the yarn over there that bit of yarn um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lift up this and grab another pan and let this do its thing there have a heart attack all you want little who's you what's it all right we have another pan we need some dye water dye water acid water acid water sounds terrifying acid water sounds terrifying doesn't it it sounds like something that you know if it got you you'd melt or something but yeah this is technically an acid based water um because I've mixed in the citric acid we just need to get this guy pumping this is cold now so we've just got to heat it up before we add in some yellow um amazings did as well goodness me okay um, I went offline too. Did everyone go offline? Maybe I went offline. I haven't had any alerts or errors or anything like that, so I don't know. Um, slightly different is exciting and it's special to have a one-of-a-kind. It is. I like having one-of-a-kind sets. It frustrates me if I just need that little bit more yarn and I can't get it, but it makes me plan my project more carefully um, and not just take for granted that I can just pop up the road and grab something. Um, so this is heating up quite quickly I'm just mixing it around I'm just going to grab some yellow we're going to go a really soft buddy yellow okay so I'm just going to put the barest hint in again have I got enough in the no. there we go bit of yellow that might be a bit bright we'll find out once we yeah that I may have gone too hard we might have to put in a couple of yellows so look at this we're getting a second set as we go because I go too hard with the color um, Jackie says it might have just been a bit of a blip oh that's good thank you Jackie for letting me know okay I've got three ready for the yellow I'll put two in first and see if that is actually I'm gonna put all three in that yellow looks really bright <laughs> and this I really should have been more careful um, a paddle pop stick is a really good way to get little bits of dye out like just clean paddle pop sticks um, if you're just guessing um, otherwise you use jeweler scales and use like 0 0.01 of a gram of dye if you really want it especially if you and that's what I do if I um, I've lost my stirry thing. Um, I actually have quite a few sets of jeweler scales that I use here when I'm testing out batches for, for regular runs, like that'll be done again. But this today, we're just having some fun, right? We're not planning colours that are going to come back forever and ever. There we go. That yellow is still a bit bright even with three. That's alright. That's okay. 
actually it's quite it'll be quite nice against that green but it might be a little overpowering I definitely have two greens one yellow one pink and one blue is what I do all right we let that sit for a second this blue is ready so what we'll do is we'll actually just put all the colors in together because they need to be heat set they have not been heat set as yet so they need to go in and just get all steamed up so they've absorbed the color but they haven't been heat set so we just want to make sure that we're not going to get any blue and the yellow okay and then I think I've got one more photo what's the time we're at we may not have time for one more I'm going to pull that one out it's getting quite bright and let these others soak in the extra dye in that water nearly there we're nearly there is this boring for you guys I hope it's all right um, Paddle pops are an, uh, the little wooden ones, yes. Craft sticks for the non-Australians, exactly right. Craft sticks, sorry. I say paddle pop sticks like everyone knows what a paddle pop stick is. Um, where are we? Chemistry fun, that's right. It's a lovely yellow. This is, this is very similar or a very similar shade to my butter yellow that I do, um, which I have a measurement for for doing. Um, I don't think they have paddle pops overseas. They, of course, offer other ice creams on a stick. Yeah, so um, orange creamsicles are on a stick, I believe. Could be wrong. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photo of inside this pan and pop it up on Instagram right now so you guys can see the colors we just did. Where's my phone? Um, it's right here that I'm looking at going, where's my phone? Okay, wet finger, hang on, glove off, all right, taking a photo, that's a terrible photo Chantel, you need more light, there we go, the blue is wrong in this photo, it's totally coming out wrong, but I'm going to post it up on Instagram anyway, for you guys to see it'll be my Instagram story um, if I can work out how to do that so let's let's see what I can do so plus do um, that there we go hashtag live die so there we go I'm just going to send that straight to my story no hashtags no nothing so that is in my Instagram story. So if you want to have a look what it looks like from a different camera, it looks, the blue looks wrong in this photo. See how dark this is here? It looks like the similar darkness in the photo, but in reality, it's not. So yes, that's frustrating. Okay, now I need to get back to here, to YouTube. Go back. Because, you know... I need to be able to see what we're doing. I'm going to have to skip my own ads again. Ah, oh, I've got an ad. All right, so this is our colors. So what we're going to do is I need to get that on the heat. So off over here. I've got um, like baking racks where I can put hot things on away. I'll stop that. And the big old hissy hissy. Mm -hmm. and pop a lid on. All right, so I don't think we'll do another one, but what we will do, once this heats up for a second, is we'll slowly decant them over on the other side. So much more video on the Insta, so much more vid on the, vivid on the Insta. Oh, thanks, but oh, Claire, how are you feeling? I hit the thumbs up, thank you guys, you're awesome. Um, Oh, you're going to make me change to Insta. No, you don't have to look now. You can look later. Okay, we're going. To, we're nearly done here. We've only got 15 more minutes here. Marion's watching at the hairdresser. Hi, Marion. I hope you've got headphones in. Um, <laughs> um, not sure if counts me twice on watching. I've had the video on my desktop and the chat on my laptop. I don't know, actually. It might well do. Um, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. 
All right, this is quite hot in here now, so I'm just going to turn that off. Now these guys are going to need their little half an hour, but we already know how they look, so I'm going to move them to the side. All righty. Should we look at the Banksia first, or should we check the other one? The um, Dahlia, the Dahlia. I just called it flower photo, because I wasn't sure if it was a Dahlia. I'm not the biggest of botanists in the world, so Banksia or Dahlia? Debbie didn't get her reminder. I'm sorry, Debbie. It seems a lot of people didn't get their reminders. Um, and I noticed it in the... Um, in the, uh, what do you call it, at the beginning, there's normally a lot of you all in the chat before I start, and there wasn't very many today, and I just, I just thought, because I'm on a different time zone now than the rest of my country, um, well, not quite the rest of the country, but you know what I mean, like, this got a bit cool, so I think we might open the Dahlia first, um, and then we will check the Banksia, because I think the Banksia just needs a little bit more heat and a bit more time, so I'm going to lift this up here, so it's under the main camera, ready? Seti, here it goes. It's ready. It's taken just about all the colour out of the water. So let me have a little. Yeah, look at this. It's got some nice little soft bits. There's no real huge chunks of white. There's some soft bits where the white has gone a little creamy yellow. Um, let me have a look up here sometimes there. There's some pink soft and pink maybe a smidgy bit of white up there that's okay oh that looks lovely that's going to be gorgeous and that's in the andromeda dk as well so this is an eight ply or a light worsted so um it's it looks quite bright it's not this bright in reality and it won't be this bright when it dries either just check the other one it's a bit of creamy white there So yeah, that's going to dry up gorgeous. It's, this one's got a bit more sort of undyed sections, but I like that personally. I don't know if you guys do or not, but I certainly do. So, you know, if no one wants it, that's fine. I will have it. I'm just going to move this guy. I've got a bucket for dumping. Okay. So what do you think? Do you guys like this one? I'll pop it back on the top for a second. Should I put another photo up on Instagram? Yeah, another pick up on Instagram. I think that's a good idea. Alright, Instagram. Instagram. Let's go here and take a picture. Well, see that makes it look really pale now. There we go. Spaghetti. That's the Dahlia is up in the Instagram stories now as well. Makes it look a bit pale in the Instagram stories. It's like a, in between Instagram story and the screen is the reality of it. Okay. No, they are all mine. <laughs> Jackie's called dibs, you guys. Um, I'll let you know if Jackie really calls dibs. If she doesn't, they'll go up on the web store. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so there's a photo up in the Instagram stories on how that one's come out. Once they dry, I'll take more photos um, and put them up on Instagram. So if you're not following me over on Instagram, I'm at Fiberific on Instagram. Um, I'd love it if you'd follow me there as well because, you know, tragic person here who wants people to follow her everywhere. It's very sad. I'm very sad. Um, I'm going to open this and have a look, but I don't think it'll be ready yet, but we'll see. You ready? One, two, three. No, this one needs a lot longer. You can see here there's still a lot of dye in the water. Um, the alpaca and the silk. Well, the silk normally takes the dye a lot faster. Just about got all the green. The green's just about all done. There's some nice grey tones under there too. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, but yeah, that brown needs a bit more, a bit more time in the dye. So we're going to close him up. So yeah, I'll take a photo oh, so you can see him, so we can see the colours. Okay, so I want to go. Just try not to drop your phone in the dye bucket, Chantel. 
I am. I'm totally going to drop my phone. Because this is my dodgy hand. I have a dodgy hand now. Like, I'm used to having a dodgy knees, but now I've got a dodgy hand. Okay. Let's have a look. Bim. And that is in the story. There you go. And because I purposefully left bits of this undyed in the middle because I want that to come through a lot. So I really like that grey. Um, I need to get a bit more heat in there. So, and I need the heat down that end. All right, so let me have a look in the chat here. Um, everyone is loving the colors. So I'm just gonna ditch that image. There we go. There we go. Oh, no, I thought, nope, I didn't ditch the image. Hang on. Ditch the image. Image is ditched. Okay, so now you can just see all the mess of all the dyes that we used. Um, we've got our pretty colours that we've made. Does anyone have a favourite of the colours that we've made today? I'll, I'll pull over the little minis in a second to have another little look at those. Um, I'll just give them a bit more time with their little lid on. Um, oh, thank you, Bob Wilson, for that link. Um, Bob Wilson has linked to my Instagram account. Make sure you right-click it if you are on a laptop or look, click it later. Um, yeah, okay, okay, apparently there's going to be a scrap between Kirby and uh, and uh, uh, Jackie over that yarn. So, you know, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> uh, there we go. Still swaying. Oh, Claire's still swaying. Wow, that Dahlia colours. Yeah, the Dahlia has come up beautifully. I'm going to be calling this one Dahlia, by the way. Oh, it's Dahlia, Banksia and Crystal. It'll be the Crystal Pack. Um, so yeah, so that one's getting nice and hot in there. That's great. That's what we needed. We needed some steamy heat bits. So that one got a bit cool a bit fast. All right, I'm going to go and grab the little crystal pack and bring it over and put it on the camera. Um, if you hear crashing, don't panic. It's just going to put tins on top of it. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. Still quite warm in there. I can feel it. Let's have a feel. Now the reality is the blue's a bit paler, the green's a bit brighter, that yellow looks about right and this purple is, it's not as pink as I'd hoped. I might actually do just a little bright pink one and I've got, and then I'll have enough for a couple of packs so we can choose which pack we like the best. Um, should, what have we got? We've got time, we've got time, I can just make up some little mini pinks to go as well. Um, what do you think? Some extra pink? Just a pop? Just plain pink by itself this time, Chantel. Don't try and go crazy. What do you think, guys? Should we do that? I'm doing it. <laughs> I've decided. I want pink in that pack. Now I've got I've got a bit more time. Let's get the pan on. Get some water in the pan. Okay, we're just going to do a couple of pink minis just to brighten that pack up a little. I hope you all agree with me because I'm just running with it. I'm just like, yeah, pink, do the pink. <laughs> Let's, oh, I'll just kick the power cord. Hopefully we're all still running. Pink, pink, lots of pink, extra pink and extra time. I know. Um... Yeah, so I'm really liking the look, oh, hello, the look of this little little collection here. We just get some heat under that. What I'll do is I'll move that to there. And I'll move this one. Because we need that as a There's only so many flat surfaces to put things. So I'll pop this, that's not hot, so let's go on there. And then so that we can colour match while we're looking, I've got to put the pink crystal pick back up. Pink crystal picture. There we go. Okay, yeah, so we're definitely, I'm just going to go a bit harder with a pink. Okay, and not be afraid of the pink, Chantel. Don't be afraid of the pink. In it goes. All right, I want a bit more pink. I want a bit more of a brighter pink. That's pink. 
All right, I'm going, because I'm going hardcore now. We're going hardcore. I've got a little dab of hot fuchsia, which will just lift this softer pink up. So I was very careful. There's like, like five granules of dye in there. There we go. It's pink. It's pink. Oh, my God, it's pink. I don't have gloves on or anything. Do I have pink on my hand? No, but look, the other hand that had no glove. It's green. It's got green bits. I should have worn a glove on both hands. All right. Okay, I'm doing two of pink just in case because I'm paranoid. You can always add more. You cannot take it away. All right, you ready? That's a better pink. It needed the fuchsia. Because that other pink on top of the cream, wow, that's quite warm. Um, the other pink on top of the cream was just that bit too subtle. This is nice. I like. It's still quite subtle. I just need some of the water over this side. So this side of it gets some colour. There we go. What do you think? What do you think? Love that pink? That's your favourite pink. You guys will have to remember that. Pink with pink with hot fuchsia. Pink with hot fuchsia. This is a very cream base as well. So that's the other thing you need to remember when you're over dyeing or when you're dyeing, you do need to look at the colour of your base. Some of my pure silks are so yellow that if I just put a bit of silver on it, it goes pewter. Um, so I have to put grey on it to make it go silver. Whereas if I put silver on, on wool or white wool, it just goes silver. It doesn't go pewter colour, that goldy, pukey. They call it pewter for a reason. I'm not a fan. Can you tell? Not a fan of pewter. Um, so yeah, so I think that works with those. What do you think? Do you think that, that tone works in with these guys here? Should we pop one in just to have a have a think and a look? You guys are all going to want the pink now. No one's going to want this soft mushroomy purpley colour. You're going to be rejected. I'll have to over dye you. I can see it now. Everyone's like, nope, don't want that one. Alright, turn it off. Yeah, look at that. The pink is way better. Popping. It still does good with this purple, though. So I reckon a pink, a purple, a yellow, a blue. One, two, three, four, and green. But see, I, want, I reckon you need more green. So two greens. I don't know. We'll make up some packs and we'll see how it goes. That's the pink of your lawn flamingo. I don't know if it is. Um, I think I used a different pink, but anyway. Just saw the banks here on Insta. I'm in love. Ah, Emma, I'm so glad. I love that purple. I love this purpley colour too. It's nearly like a grey purple, but it's definitely purple. It's got a name and it's just not coming to my brain. So if anyone can tell me that grey purpley colour, like it's a damask, or something, I don't know. I'm going to look. See, and look at this. In on time. We're on time. Ha <laughs> ha. No extra time. No, that makes it sound like it's a competition, doesn't it? You love that purple. Um, I've had so much fun in today's dry stream. I was so stressed out this morning. I was running so far behind. I was so nervous about this weather, how grey and gloomy it is. None of this is going outside to dry. It's going to have to go inside to dry. Um, but I think we've made just such beautiful, like, uplifting colors you guys put some fantastic photos into fibrific insta if you want fibrific inspo i should say if you want me to dye to your photos hashtag fibrific inspo we're going to have another dye stream in a month so start having a look around and it doesn't have to be in nature it just has to be a photo you've taken so that i can do this if i put a picture that someone else's photo up on this video my video can be struck for copyright and three copyright strikes and they close your channel. You lose everything. So I will not risk copyright strikes. So um, that's why I make sure I can't hear any music, things like that in the background, unless it's my music. Um, so yeah, so I'm a bit pernickety about that stuff. But absolutely, um, 
the green is looking yeah it's the camera don't panic it's definitely the camera but they'll all go a shade lighter as they dry as well don't forget so we can have a look this is definitely a watermelony green and next to that yellow it definitely looks paler so let's put it next to the pink instead there we go we'll put the yellow over there next to the purple there we go yeah see that lifted the green already didn't it um Leanne says I'm back and she took a sneaky peek at the pics on Instagram as well. Leanne, I love this photo. It inspired me to pull out minis. I bought some, these are pre-skeined minis that I get from one of my mills. And I bought them ages ago and I just was never really inspired to make a minis pack um, until I saw the colours in this. And I was just like, I don't want it to be a direct pour. I wanted it in minis. So if you guys don't like the minis, that's fine. I'm totally keeping them for myself. <laughs> Um, there's so much softness in the color of that dahlia on Insta. Yes, it is much softer uh, But like I was saying before it's like an in-between of the two photos at the moment It'll probably end up drying more like what's on Instagram now um, The answer is wow, that's fast love that out of pink me too I'm going to recolor set this because the pink's not color set yet um, And it won't hurt the others to have a bit of extra steam time um, because I do it so gently um, it's crochet clock says she loves dye streams. I love dye streams so much. It's one of those things um, Sometimes I feel guilty about how much time we spend here on YouTube because it's not my core business and I think oh, you know I could be doing my tax or I could be doing this or I could be doing that but when I'm doing like a dye stream or a productivity stream um, Rather than just working on my own personal craft, which I love doing mind you <laughs> I feel like um, I don't feel like I'm not working. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like I'm getting stuff done, but I still get to chat. It's like having friends over and you're like, I've got to keep working, but you can talk to me. And that's definitely the feeling I'm getting here. Um, where are we? Had to run, but I have to, oh, I hate to run, but I have to go. Bye, Tammy. Have a great morning. Um, very much enjoyed watching your first live. Thank you for joining us, Anne. Um... Uh, happy early birthday from Daigo. Um, where are we? I'm just trying to keep up. I would like a set of those minis. Well, I might have to just, I've got, you know, 15 or more of them sitting there in a the bucket waiting for colour. So what I can do is I can get these ones dry. We can take some photos. We can work out which colour batch people like and go from there. Um... What do you, what temp do I set my temperatures at? Um, anywhere between 80 and 100 degrees Celsius. So I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. You'll have to have a Google. But you do not want it to boil. If your yarn boils, um, it's very bad. It, it, it changes how the handle is on your yarn. It makes it stiffer um, and rougher. And we all like our yarn to be soft. Sometimes our bases are a bit stiffer and rougher. And you don't want to add to that by um, overheating them. Uh, where are we? You are educating the masses. I don't know about that. <laughs> um, is that dirty word marketing help spread the word about your wonderful products? Look, I don't consider marketing a dirty word and I have to do it. Seriously, dude. Do you need to use your drill right now? Oh my God. Can you guys hear that? It's so loud. Um, yeah, look, I have to market my business and I have to do some of that stuff, but I figure... If I can do something I'm enjoying at the same time, it doesn't feel quite so much like horrid work. Um, I don't do anything on Thursdays except watch you and crochet. It's my day off. Oh, that's awesome, Andrea. Um, Lola Star creates podcasts. I only just jumped on right now. I have to watch the replay. I'm sorry, Lola Star. We've had a lot of fun and made some pretty colours. I've also put them over on my Instagram story um, as they heat set. We can watch you dye the extra minis. Now, I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee because I've been running around since 7 o'clock this morning and I need a little sit down. <laughs> um, but, you know, good good try. Good try. <laughs> Very good try. Um, so, yeah, is the dark... Is the dark... We can check. Hang on. It might be. Let me just have a look. I'll just... It, it may not be yet. Hang on. So you know how I was saying like when you use like subtler colours? I'm just going to move this out of the way just in case any brown splashes on it. That would make me cry. 
Not after making such pretty pastels. All right, let's have a look. And look, it's nearly done. I'm not sure, if, I don't know if you can tell, um, but before I couldn't see the pan, this was so dark. Um, whereas now it's nearly, it's nearly ready. It, I would give it five more minutes and it'd be done. But I can lift one up. So we've got like some really nice dark green with the big splodge of brown. There's lots of grey still through. It'll be a real, and like I've got the speckles of the two different browns. We've got the dark brown, which you cannot see in this camera. Here we go. No, I'll take photos and put them over on Instagram for you because this is rubbish. This camera needs a light directly under it and I'll have to, I've got one, but it wasn't charged because I forgot about it because, you know, dumb. This is actually ready. It was just that one little section. So this is good to go. So we'll get some photos. I'll ditch that. Down. Hands have gone pruny. So let me just give it a bit of a zhuzh up for its photo. I'm ready for my close up, mister. I'll try and get it with it so we can see a bit of the grey and the green and the brown. There's my phone. There it is. I don't know if it's going to work because my fingers are so pruny. No, nope, I have to put in the password. That's so funny. Okay. Instagram, Instagram stories. We ready, guys? Come on, there we go. Done. Story. Okay, that one is in the Instagram stories as well. This is so dark here. I'm so sorry. I'll make make better for next week, uh, or next. Not next week. We're not die stream next week. Die stream next month, second Thursday of the month. Um, <laughs> uh, you've worked so hard for us. Um, my shout for wine at Caffeinated Crowd is if you bring the mini crystal set with you. I think that could be arranged. Um, keep asking questions and then the chat will last longer. You are cheeky, Andrea. I love the brown stibs on these ones. And these are a bit of alpaca as well, you guys, those of you that like alpaca. They're alpaca, cashmere, and silk. They're absolutely divine. And it was one of the yarns. It was this one and one other that I realized that I couldn't work with alpaca. Like, I can dye it, but I can't knit or crochet with it. It just is. This was one I bought for myself. I bought a 10 pack. And um, I can't. So I've got a few more of these I can dye up as well. Um, what's the name of this one? This dark one is <coughs> will be Banksia. But I've only got the two. So. It'll be a case of first in, first serve. I've, I'll let them dry and I'll rescan them and I'll take pretty photos of them and I'll put them up on the website, <coughs> excuse me, so that you can see them once they're dry. As I've said before, they do ch their color changes from wet when they're dry, so you want to have a good look to decide a bit later. Beautiful shine. Yes, absolutely. It's got silk and cashmere in it. Um, and I'll, <laughs> Leanne's going to bring the pen for autographing. That's funny. Um, I can see a pair of socks in that color. Which which color is that? Because this I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, look at it on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it looks totally different on Insta. And Insta's probably a better better view because the light is good. And anyway, you guys know the deal. Um, this is a lace weight. This is uh, 800 meters in this one. This is 800 meters to 100 grams. So I probably wouldn't make socks with that. But I can always knock up some sock yarn in a similar... I've still got some of the browns left. So if you guys want me to make some sock yarn in this Banksia colour, let me know. I can give it a try. It won't be identical because it doesn't have the grey under it. I can over dye it in a grey... I can dye it in a grey first, then do this on top of it or, you know, a degree of this because I didn't write it down and go from there. So PM me. Send me a direct message if you want to pre-order a pair of socks. In a in a sock in a sock weight yarn. Ivy May is seriously calling dibs. All right, you need to send me a direct message on Facebook or Instagram if you are seriously calling dibs on yarn that's not dry. I think you're insane. But if you're seriously calling dibs, I have to. I don't even have a price for this one yet. I have to work it out. Um, but yes, uh, actually, I have worked it out. It's written on the back. Hang on, I did work it out. 
these are $30 a skein because it's lace weight with silk and cashmere and alpaca. So these are $30 each. Um, minis I don't have a price for yet. And the 8 ply is $22 because that's my standard 8 ply. But if you are 100% serious, you need to direct message me on, on um, Facebook or Instagram and, and let me know. So have a think, but I would wait until they're dry, you guys. I would totally wait until they're dry. Um, uh, this one that's in front of me, I would not use this for socks. It's too fine. It's like most sock yarns are maybe 400. You'd have to hold two strands together and then it's silk and cashmere and socks and alpaca. There's nothing in there that's strong um, and it would wear out really fast, this particular blend. The pink isn't on Instagram. Is it not? Let me look. Did I, I? I took the photo before. Hang on. All right. You guys are sneaky. I'm looking at the cloth. This is your fault, Andrea. Totally blaming you. Oh, hang on. Go away. Instagram story. Um, let me look here. I thought I put the pink up. No, I did not. You're quite right. Let's get a picture with the pink in the blend. There we go. You guys can see my awesome photo taking skills. And then let's go back. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Helps if I stand straight, doesn't it? There we go. Um, it's sideways, but you know, you've got an idea of how the pink looks. <laughs> Look, this pink needs to be over here. What am I doing? It needs it needs heat before I forget. Otherwise, it's not going to heat set and. Then it'll run, and someone will send me hate mail about how their colour ran. Because that's that's actually that's truly a terrifying thing that I I've, I've never had happen, but I I dread it. So I heat set everything. Um, there's a lot of banging in the background. Yeah, the boys next door they don't they they don't they, they don't stop. It's every single day there's some sort of crashing happening next door. Um, this would be a great show. Yes, it would. Hey, Bob, welcome to the chat. Um, and so it'll be, it's very, um, earthy. It'll be beautiful and earthy once it's done. Uh, Ivy May's going to wait till it dries. Thank you. Um, Leanne says, go for it, Kim Nelson. They are your colours in one skein. Um, I'm trying to ignore my responsibilities, so I'm using you as the excuse. <laughs> oh, I like that. Um. Uh, why do they change colors? Uh, okay, so what happens is it's like anything when it's wet the color is deeper and darker So as the moisture it doesn't actually change um, There's no process other than the drying and because like if you look at your t-shirts on the line when they're wet Compared to when they're dry they do pale off a little bit and so also we're looking at bad cameras and when I can take a proper photo I can make sure it's color match correctly so you get a better idea of how it looks and I would I would hate so much for you to choose one of these and then get it and go well it's not as bright as I hoped it would be because you got it while it was wet or from a different camera that I don't get to control quite so much because I'm a control freak have we not worked this I'm a control freak um, and I like to be able to make sure the photos are right. <laughs> um, my upstairs neighbours are making a lot of noise. I'm going to yell at them and say my chat team can hear you too. You should totally do that, Daigo. Just be like, oh my God, people in Australia can hear you banging. <laughs> yeah, thanks. That's great. I'm not live streaming internationally or anything. That's fantastic. Like, and it's like an hour and a half a week of quiet, and I don't get it. I just don't get it. Anyway, at least the chickens have stopped. <laughs> okay, so I'm just I'm going to turn that off because it's nice and hot. All right, you sneaky, sneaky people. I'm going to head off, and uh, I'm going to pack some of this stuff up. I've got an extra monitor sitting right here that. I'm not using because I couldn't find a power plug so I want to get that inside and some of this camera gear before the rain starts because my patio leaks so I've got to get everything ready for waterproofing 
So I hope you guys all have a fantastic week. Next week we're back to standard live streaming using this new great software. The images will be much brighter um, <laughs> because, you know, better lighting in the shack than we have on the patio. I think next time I need to bring a second light and bring it in and bring it over my shoulder so you guys can get more light. Anyway, that's ideas for next time. Um, he was waiting and did that. And cute. I know, it really felt like it, didn't it? Thank you all so much for joining our live die stream. I've had a lot of fun. And I will catch you all on social media. Make sure you pop over and say hi to me or, you know, like the photos and what have you as they go up. Um, and I will see you all next week. Bye.